Hi everybody, it's Katie. Um, today I wanted to talk about something a little more serious on my channel. Something that I kind of haven't done in a long time that I wanted to um, kind of do like an updated version on. Um, before I really get started into it, it's going to be talking about like depression and anxiety and um, living with like chronic illnesses and stuff. And just so that everybody knows that there might be some things in here that are um, that might cause some triggers um, just so that I can warn you guys about it beforehand um, just so that you know you know ahead of time um, so I just wanted to share my story and hopefully help somebody else out there that maybe is dealing with kind of the same thing um, or you know just somebody that needs somebody to listen to or whatever. Um, so starting about 10 years ago, um, actually almost 15 years ago, I started, um, you know, having problems with like my feet, some toes kind of going numb. And, um, that kind of went on for a few years. Um, Gradually more toes were getting numb and um, pain in my feet and I had gone to see a doctor about it and she had referred me to a podiatrist, I believe, um, a doctor who, sorry, um, a doctor who deals with the feet and she had taken a look at my feet and said, you know, nothing's wrong, everything looks normal, so I just kind of brushed it off. I thought maybe, you know, I just need new shoes or something. Um, so I just kind of, you know, didn't think about it and just kind of moved on. Um, and by this time, you know, I'd been working and going to school and everything. Um, things had just been gradually getting worse. And at this point, I'm like 19. And, you know, it's just, it's, the pain's getting out of hand. And... Needless to say, I had gone back to my doctor and I just said, look, you know, like, pain's getting really, really bad. Something's not right. Um, I've tried everything. Nothing seems to help. Um, she referred me to another doctor and she had diagnosed me with something called complex regional pain syndrome, which is a nerve disease. And she said, you know, I want you to go and get a second opinion on it. And I went to another doctor that she had recommended me to, and he had said, yes, you know, that's definitely what you have. Um, for testing on that and stuff, there's no, as far as I know, from all the research that I've done, um, over the past 10 years, I've been um, dealing with it for 10 years, I'm now 29. Um, it's just, as far as I know, there's no, like, certain certain way to diagnose it there are two different types of it um one being you know you've had an injury and it will cause um cause it to happen and and in my case it just all of a sudden happens with no real like no real way of knowing why it happened but it did um which has caused me to have depression and anxiety and stuff, you know, people have not been kind to me, um, for having it, you know, like being so young, people didn't understand, you know, they thought that I was just kind of looking for attention or, you know, whatever reasoning that they, um, thought they wanted to like put out there that, you know, oh, she's just looking for attention um, she's just wanting to complain and it was, it's definitely frustrating feeling so isolated from people, um, feeling like nobody cares, nobody wants to listen. And it definitely did cause, um, depression for me. And especially over the last, I would say like two years or so, the depression has really, really not been good for me. Um, now depression for everybody is different. Um, everybody handles it different. Um, for me, it was just kind of 
some days were a little bit easier than others. I wouldn't say that they were definitely better, but some days were easier for me um, dealing with not, not suicidal thoughts. I never thought of hurting myself or anything, but just feeling worthless because here I am young and, you know, having all of these health issues, um, depression and the CRPS, it's just, it was hard, you know, like nobody my age have these problems and I'm out looking and seeing everybody that's my age healthy, happy, able to go do stuff, have a life, and here I am just hurting, tired, kind of confused, and just, it, it was definitely hard to deal with. Um, so the depression for me has just been kind of like, just kind of always like a dark cloud over me, and I know that's kind of like a cliche thing to say, but it was just... It was hard to be able to see the good in anything and I want everybody out there who's watching this that you're never never alone you know there's always always somebody to go to always somebody to talk to for me what really helped and this was just for me my experience um, what helped was reaching out to my doctor and saying like something's got to give I can't take this depression how I'm feeling like just crying almost every single day just being so unhappy so sad and just these horrible feelings of just not feeling like I was worth anything to anybody and um she gave me and I'm not going to say the names of them but because every doctor is different every person is different but she did end up putting me on two different um, antidepressants to help and um, she helped me find a really good therapist and I had seen my therapist um, about once a week for a good year year and a half and then I felt comfortable enough going probably only two times a month um, and I just want people out there to know that if you're depressed if you're having anxiety if you have a chronic illness or something, there is somebody out there, like a therapist or something, and, you know, they might not know exactly what you're going through, but reach out to them. Please reach out to them and just say, you know, this is how I'm feeling. They're not going to look at you like you're crazy. You know, it's just they will sit there and they will listen and help you through everything and that's what really worked for me is being able to talk to somebody that didn't know like my my story already somebody like outside of everything that would give me like a good opinion on everything and just kind of helping me through it and it really did work um so I just want to tell you that there is hope out there and please Please find help if you need it. Reach out. There's always somebody out there that will help you. And um, that's just kind of like, I didn't want to delve too deep into a lot of stuff. Um, but that's just kind of the gist of how everything was for me. Um, I'm no in no way, shape, or form um, like a licensed therapist, doctor, or anything. I'm not trying to give any medical advice. Um, and I am also not saying in any way, shape, or form that I am, like, cured or anything. Um, I still, even with everything, deal, I deal with stuff, but I, I've been given the tools to try to work through it a little bit better. Um, so that's just kind of a little bit of my story about who I am. And, um, I hope that you got some kind of information out of this. And I hope that you guys have a good day. Um, and I just hope that you can, you know, get some help and everything gets better for you. And I just wanted to say thank you for everybody who has watched. And I hope, you know, just everything goes good for you. And thank you for watching. And please, if you want more videos like this, 
like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. I will leave links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Bye!